Hi everyone, I'm Janina. If you missed any of the videos in this series, please check out the links in the description. In this video, I'm over in Adobe Premiere Pro. And today, I'm going to venture outside and make the red tail hawk I have in this video go from right to left across the sky. I'm also going to resize a rabbit. So let's get started. Let me start by unlocking the tracks I'm going to be working on. I'm going to drop a horizontal flip effect on the clip of the hawk, so now it faces toward the left. I've already put keyframes on this clip of the hawk, going from left to right. I want to see if I can use any of them. This red tail hawk element is a video with an alpha channel, meaning it's on a transparent background, making it perfect for adding to videos. I'm just going to delete them all and start over. Let's get a little closer. First, I'm going to click on the position and the motion effects in the effects control tab so I can control the position of the hawk. In order to activate keyframes, I have to click on the stopwatch. Since this clip already had keyframes, it's already activated. I'm putting the hawk where I want the first keyframe to start. I'm going to unhide this track. Let's jump back into the warmth of the house so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to pull him back a little more. Let's go back outside. Let me pull him back a little more. I didn't mean to delete that keyframe. Let me undo that in the history panel. These little arrows move the player head to the next keyframe. Here I'm adjusting horizontal or left and right position of the hawk. I'm adjusting the position of the keyframe the player head is on. This is the first keyframe. I want the hawk to be very close to the right side of the screen. So I'm going to adjust the position of the first keyframe. When I click back and forth between the two keyframes, the first keyframe is now at the new position. I'm going to move it over a little bit. About right here for the first keyframe. Let's see what it looks like. Now it's on the second keyframe. Now I'm setting the second keyframe's position. Now I'm setting the third keyframe. I'm going to press the Add Remove Keyframe button to add a keyframe at that position.
third keyframe is in the same position as the second keyframe. I didn't advance that keyframe forward. If I didn't add any more keyframes, the hawk would fly in place at that spot. Let me adjust it by changing the position of the third keyframe. Let's see what that looks like. It doesn't look like it moved at all. Let me move it over some more. See what that looks like. Second keyframe, third keyframe. That looks good. Let's create another keyframe to keep it moving forward. I'm going to move the player head to where I want the position of the next keyframe to be. Then I'm going to click the Add Remove Keyframe button to add a keyframe. Then I'm going to set the position of that keyframe. Since this is the last keyframe, I'm going to take it all the way to the end. Okay, let's see what it looks like from inside the house. see what 2 looks like. Let me make a copy of the original by hitting Ctrl C and pasting with Ctrl V. looks okay. Let's see what it looks like full screen. There's the one, that looks good. Where are they? I can't seem to find the two of them. That's okay. I know they're there. That's a raven I put up that just flew by. Now for the rabbit. Let me unlock that layer. I'm going to click on the clip of the rabbit. The effects control panel. I'm going to change the size. Now I'm going to select these clips of the bigger rabbit and delete them. Now in the effects control panel, I'm going to pull it down and back a little. I'm going to copy this clip by hitting Ctrl C and pasting it by hitting Ctrl V. Oops, let me undo that. By hitting Ctrl Z 
and locking any tracks I'm not working on before I start pasting. Otherwise, I'll paste on the wrong track, possibly pasting over other elements. Although I'm going to continue working on this, I'm going to end the video here. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.